Hey everyone, this is Tom from Montac here, and we are back at it again with the next main event prologue. And this one is going to be for Charging Badge, the current Pro Division champion, taking on Bobby, Bobby Blue Eyes, big time Bobby Blue Eyes, former Pro Division champion in their second match ever, almost an entire year after their very first game, which so happened to be Bob's first game ever and Badger's last game before going on hiatus, but they are both back and at the top of their games, going for the pro title. How are you doing here today, uh, Badger? And uh, Bob as well, how are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing fine. Well. It is good to have you both here. And uh, of course, it has been a little while since we've done one of these, so let's run it down for those who are new to how the prologue works. Basically, each player is asked a unique question, and then they will answer with their opposing player able to, could be chiming in, could be just discussing that answer itself, before they are both given the exact same question, why do you believe you will win? But to start, let's get into what the challenger's first question is, as we have Bob here. After your How's last pro title win in July, what makes this matchup? different regarding your approach and confidence uh, well ever since july i've grown completely as a player i've you know i've gained a whole lot of res like respect for this game and i've really just shown like myself that i could really prove that i'm like i'm like smarter than all the rest of them um that was a joke <laughs> sorry but <laughs> like like i've just gained a lot more confidence in my abilities you know my deck building my strategies just Really put putting my foot on the gas ever since July. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you've definitely done incredibly well. Uh, you had a lot of really good outings. You've also contended for the pro title since then as well. Um, even to get if your first pro title wasn't even against any sort of uh, weak player. It was against Mini Smoke. Uh, and even again, you were probably the very, very close to actually ending Mini Smoke's dominant reign. Just came down to that last Dragon Cupid. And I guess sitting across from you right now, you've got the man who did beat Mini Smoke, and I guess that leads mm. into your question, Badger. Uh, after your huge wins against the likes of Mini Smoke and APOC, what about this new challenger and Bob interests you? Uh, I think it's just because we haven't... i played against most of the other top contenders, like, at least a few times, but I haven't mm. really faced Bob in his prime yet, mm. so I'm gonna be a little bit excited to see what they'll bring to the table. Yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting. Bob, what do you have to say about that? Um, I don't think I'm quite in my prime yet. I still need a couple more months, maybe even a year before I'm the, even there. Mm -hmm. Because everybody else is just on a whole other level than me. Like, I mm -hmm. still think I have a lot of improvement, but I think I can definitely compete. Great to hear. Now, of course, starting with you, Bob, the final question, the question for you both, the one that matters the most is, Bob, against Charging Badger, why do you believe you will win? Because I I have what, what nobody else in this entire game has, mm -hmm. the element of surprise. I have so many different options that nobody knows about that I have in stock for everybody. Like, mm. you, like, like whenever I'm able to really analyze everything that's that's every time i win like like i'm able to like look at everybody's deck down to the last single card in their asset pile mm -hmm. and just make us a, a perfect deck to beat them like including decks that even they haven't even used because i i know everything that was a joke um, <laughs> um but yeah that's just that's just what i that's just what i personally think mm. Now, Badger, of course, you're in a bit of a different camp. Uh, a lot of the top-ranked guys really do love to anticipate their opponent's plays and even build brand new decks to suit that kind of play style. You definitely clash with Mini Smoke, probably one of the better examples, probably one of the most elite examples of crafting a deck for a certain opponent. How do you feel that plays against your style? And um, I guess, how do you think that'll affect your chances of beating Bob? Uh, well, you know, I... I wouldn't say I'm necessarily, like, against changing the deck to fit the opponent, but I would rather, like, have one specific sh deck shell and then slot a few answer cards into that rather than build a completely different deck just to answer it. Because mm -hmm. it takes time to learn how to play a new deck. 
And mm. if I already know how to play in a specific deck, I, I'm just that much more prepared, I feel. So with this, obviously with this current style you'll be taking on, um, what about that worries you when facing Bob? Well, what I would say is if he's trying to be as unpredictable as possible, then there's not really anything I can plan for. Honestly, I'm looking forward to see what you have to offer because ever, ever since last year, I haven't exactly been plotting my revenge, but I've definitely been wanting one. It's just I've been I've been anticipating this for the past couple months. It's definitely a long time come when you consider the fact that the absolute uh, journeys you both went on. Obviously, Badger went on a six-month hiatus, I think it was around about that time, after your match. And Bob, you went through and you absolutely ripped through the rookies, took out uh, arguably one of the most dominant rookies in Crimson in that January 2023 uh, tournament. You then go from that point, you enter Spark, have a bit of a dip into rookies, but then get through Spark, get into the pros, win the pro title, um, and even still maintain that huge advantage all while doing this while playing Tim. I guess that does make me wonder though, what does it mean for you to win that pro title? I think what this means is that I can finally, like maybe prove, like not to everybody else, but maybe to myself that I can, you know, keep competing with all these bros. Mm. You know, I can, I can, I can say, yes, I am one of the greatest like players in all of Montag history. Because that's who I—that's what I want to leave. I want to leave my mark on this game, as mm -hmm. that one guy everybody feared. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, and I guess Badger, if you retain, I mean, you, every reign you've had so far was taken away from you by Misfire. You know, Misfire has now lost the opportunity to contend for your title. You're now paving a brand new way to. I guess to see how your reigns are going to look at as what is a charging badger reign look like. What would it mean for you to retain this weekend considering that would put you in a very small list of people who have defended their title not only once but twice? I don't know if any of my previous titles have had a successful defense. So just the fact that I even am here attempting my seconds is big. Mm -hmm. um, and if I win this, um, may as well shoot for the record. I mean, I've been the one that stopped everyone else from getting it, so mm -hmm. why not go for four myself? Both of these guys are raring to go, and I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Thank you again for making the time. Uh, if no one more thing you'd like to say, then thank you everyone for watching. Have a good one. This has been Tom, that was Bob, and that was Badger. See you later.